Okay, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to the, uh, Survivor tier list. For some odd reason, this tier list was made alongside with killers and survivors. So, we're just gonna be ranking the top half of this list, which is just all the survivors in the game. Uh, and yeah, they also added skins here. I don't know why they have skins here. Uh, Luckily, there's not that much skins, but I'm putting them there. And as you can see, I can have the perks on the wiki opened up by a bond to begin with. And, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to be ranking survivors via how good I think they are with their perks, because, as you know, I recently finished every single survivor in games, adept other than Steven Nancy, because I didn't buy them. I started playing the game after they got taken nap. Okay, Dwight. Um, <laughs> first god tier, okay? So, I didn't actually really know what Bond does. Okay, please leave me alone with you. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so it just allows you to see all auras of every survivor in the game. Uh, or, uh, within, uh, at tier 3, 36 meters. It's really good, and I know what Prove Thyself the Leader does. Prove Thyself when you're working on a gen with, uh, with a person. Uh, the more people that gets on the gen, the more percentage it goes up. Uh, your, the speed goes up by, like, a lot. As you can see, it's, uh, 15% for each survivor. Uh... Yeah, and then there's also leader, which makes it so when you are close to another survivor, uh, you just, you know, they do things faster. 25%. It doesn't stack, though. Or it might- this one- yeah. Yeah, it does not stack. Okay, that is why he's quite high on the tier list. I quite enjoy how high he is on the tier list, I think. It's fine. Uh, Meg has quick and quiet, so when she's crouching, she is fast. Uh, sprint burst, when she sprints, she gets a speed boost, but then uh, gets exhausted. It's an exhaustion perk. And adrenaline, when the exit gates open up, uh, she heals a health state and runs faster, and I think opens gates up faster as well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put her in great tier. She isn't as good as Dwight as I think that Quick and Quiet isn't that great. Uh, it's pretty good still. And Sprint Burst as well, because it, it takes away you being able to sprint. You will not be able to in Sprint without Exhaustion activating and Sprint Burst activating. Adrenaline is probably her best perk here, and that is a really good perk. Uh, Claudette definitely went down for me recently, but she has Empathy, uh, which if I'm correct, she can see survivors, right? Yeah, she can see injured survivors within 128 meters, which is essentially the entire map. Uh, Botany Knowledge, which is uh, that she has increased healing speed, uh, but reduces efficiency of medkits, which is pretty good. And then she has self kit, which got debuffed recently, which is why she's going to be put on great tier instead of god tier. Dwight is really good, as you essentially, these prove thyself and leader essentially just makes it so you speed through gens. Uh, Empathy, and, uh, I mean, botany knowledge definitely makes it so you speed through healing, but self-care's debuff wasn't that great for her. Okay, next up we got Jake. Uh, uh, he has reduced uh, no uh, you know, noises, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he reduces the volumes of uh, grunt pains in, in the injured state. And now he can't use it when he's exhausted, which makes it really bad. They debuff that perk really bad. Calm Spirit, which makes it so he cannot uh, alert crows. And Saboteur, he can sabotage a hook. Uh, yeah, and he can, I think he can see hooks when a 
survivors picked up. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you can see the aura of hooks. Yeah, so he... So it takes him 2.5 seconds to do it, and it has a 60 second. Okay, that's... I think he's gonna go in an average. His perks, he definitely got debuffed really bad. Uh, Iron Will just sucks. Kinda sucks now. Saboteur was meh to begin with, and Calm Spirit was also pretty bad. Uh, balance Landing, good exhaustion perk. When you, uh, once you jump off of a high point, you will gain a speed boost, and yeah, then you'll be exhausted. Uh, urban Evasion. What's Urban Evasion? Oh, wait, then. What's Meg's perk? Oh, what's Quick and Quiet? Is that Vaulting Speed? Oh, okay, so... She suppresses the noise notification. Okay. And it has a 20 second cooldown. That's still... That still doesn't make her... Okay, Quick and Quiet might be better than I thought. Okay, maybe I'll put Meg above... Uh, out just because of that fact that I did not know. Okay, well, Urban Evasion makes you perch faster, uh, and then Streetwise makes it so item efficiency is boosted. Uh, she immediately goes to good tier. Mm, actually, great tier. Uh, bottom great tier for sure. She has great perks. Uh, uh, good exhaustion perk. Uh, I mean, her exhaustion perk ain't the greatest, but Urban Evasion, again, niche situations can be useful, and Streetwise is just really, really good. Uh, Meg, I changed my rating for her because Quick and Quiet is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, Lori Strode, Soul Survivor. Uh, uh, it makes it so that each time a survivor it, uh, uh, that other than her is killed, she gains one token. And each token makes it so she can, re uh, so the killer can't read her aura, and uh, she has an increased uh, generator and exit and hatch opening speeds. Uh, 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 when all survivors are dead, <laughs> which is really bad. Object of obsession. I know what that does. Every, uh, I think it's like. Uh, 30 seconds at tier at tier one or something. The killer can see your aura, at, but you can see the killer's aura for six seconds. Yeah, uh, but it increases your action speed whenever you are seen for three seconds every 30 seconds. Yeah, pretty bad perk right there. And decisive strike is probably her best perk, but uh, essentially all it does is uh, when when you're unhooked. Uh, for uh, 60 seconds, uh, if he hits you after those six, during those 60 seconds, you have a chance to stab the killer and escape his grasp. Uh, but it stops. Uh, when it deactivates when executed your power. And yeah, uh, Lori Strode is in the bad tier. She has pretty bad uh, survivor perks. Object of Obsession is awful, Soul Survivor is pretty bad, and Decisive Strike is meh. Uh, Ace Visconti has Open Handed, Up the Ante, and Ace in the Hole. Open Handed makes it so that uh, your aura reading perks are now increased by 16 meters. Uh, okay, <laughs> not that great. Uh, uh, for each survivor still in the trial, up the ante gains one token. Each token applies a stackable 3% bonus luck, which is awful. Uh, maximum 9%. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh, his luck is, like, essentially useless. When it's receiving the item from a the chest, there's a chance an add-on will be attached to it. 100% chance for a very rare uh, rarity or lower. 50% chance for a second add-on of uncommon rarity or lower. Okay, that's 
face in the hole. I I remember adept when I adapted him was his best perk, and that is all I can say. Uh, he is even actually he's better than Lori just because of the fact that object of the obsession sucks, and Soul Survivor relies on uh, on your team dying. Okay, I know what all of Bill's perks do, except I don't know what Borrowed Time does after this update. So Left Behind makes it so that uh, when, uh, he will be able to see the hatch. Uh, he'll be able to see the aura of the hatch. Unbreakable makes it so he can pick himself up once during the trial. And Borrowed Time, I don't know what it does in, this, in the new update, so let's read it. Uh, extends the duration of endurance to ten, from, for 10 seconds, and it, uh, status effect for 10 seconds as well. Uh, the haste, sorry, status effect. That's really good. Uh, Bill definitely goes in a, uh, in a, uh, he's definitely better than Mia and Wadette, but I don't think he's better than, uh, Meg. Left be behind is really niche. Borrowed time is really good, and Unbreakable is also really good. Uh, but again, Unbreakable is more niche. Uh, yeah, I think he deserves a great deal. I don't think it's really too much I can say. Okay, Fengming Technician. Uh, technician makes it so that uh, when she blows up again, it, uh, it reduces the progress more, but it's silent, which is awful. Light, whenever she fastballs anything, it, uh, uh, she gains a speed boost and then becomes exhausted as normal. And alert, whenever the killer breaks something, uh, 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 she can see the killer for 5 seconds. Boom. Uh, uh, average tier. Uh, definitely worse than... Uh, actually, light is good. Alert is okay, technician is really bad. Yeah, she's definitely better than... Yeah, she'll go in good tier. I think she's not that bad. Uh, she's better than Jake for sure. Uh, but we are going to a really bad one. Uh, we're gonna live forever. I don't remember what that does. Okay, so it makes it so that it increases your healing speed uh, by 100 when, he when healing a dying survivor and uh, performing a safe we're gonna live forever gains one token performing a safe protection is grant the endurance status effect oh that's actually not that bad that's pretty good i know dead heart was nerfed to the ground now it makes it so that you have uh endurance for 0 0.5 seconds and then it makes you have exhaustion for 40 seconds and it can't be used no mither is god awful. Uh, it just makes it so that you don't lose pools of blood. Uh, you are broken for the entire game. Uh, you don't really have much noise when uh, when injured. You, your recovery speed is increased, and you can recover from the dying state infinitely. Uh, no mither is. Mm, Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, David. We're gonna live forever is really good, though. Dead Heart just got nerfed to the ground. I think he's definitely better than Lori, but not... His one perk, we're gonna live forever, is way better than all of Ace's perks. But Dead Heart and No Mither just grew in Adept for him. Because this is based on the Adepts. Which is why the skins aren't going to be ranked, because they don't have any perks. Okay, wake up. I don't remember Quentin. I did Quentin a very long time ago. I know all of taps, though, so don't worry. But wake up makes it so that you can see the order of the exit gates, which is oh, awesome. And you open the gates faster. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. Uh, your chest speed is 80. Oh, not that bad. Uh, okay. And you can always get an emergency med kit, which is 16. So guaranteed one heal. Okay, that's not that bad actually. Guaranteed heal. Oh, so you can increase your your recovery rate from blindness, broken, exhaustion, exposed, and hindered, hindered, oblivious by 30%. 
and it also applies to survivors that are close to you. Ooh, actually, Quentin might actually be not that bad. Who? I'm gonna put him in the good tier, above Fang, because all of his perks are relatively solid. They're not like technician, which is a detriment to you. All of them help you. Okay, uh, Detective Tap, I know him very well. Tenacity, uh, your crawling speed is faster and you can uh, recover while crawling. Detective Hunch, when a gen is complete, you can see the auras of gen nearby gens, chests, totems, and that's it. Uh, which is pretty good, and stakeout, which uh, you gain a token when you're in, uh, you gain a token for standing in the killer's uh, tear radius for a certain amount of time. Each token will make a good skill check turn into a great skill check. It's relatively niche. If you're good at great skill checks, it doesn't matter. But it also, if you're playing without audio, it is useful just because you know when the killer is near you because of it. A uh, detective tap is uh, relatively good. Uh, I really like tenacity. Uh, and Detective Punch is a really good perk. Uh, I think he's still below everybody uh, on Great Tier. I don't know. Yeah, I think Great Tier. Tenacity's really good paired up with other perks, but of course we're talking about Adept here. Tenacity's still pretty good on its own. Detective Punch is still pretty good on its own, except it's not as good with his perks, but Stakeout is still pretty good on its own. So, not that bad. Uh, Kate has danced with me. Uh, I don't remember Kate at all because it's been so long since I've played Kate. Just remember, my survivors that I play a lot is Detective Hap, uh, Ash J. Williams, Huey, uh, uh, Michaela, and uh, Jill. Who I didn't realize have the uh, icon changes on this website. Okay, dance with me makes it so that you. When you vault a window pallet locker, you will not leave any scratch marks for 3 seconds. That's a 40 second cooldown, not that bad actually. Uh, 3 seconds is not a lot though. Uh, you can see the auras of brick walls, pallets, windows, uh, that's pretty good too. Uh, boil over, I know what that does, uh, but it just makes it so that your wiggle, uh, uh, it makes it harder for the killer to move around uh, when you're in the arms. 80% wiggle, and uh, if you if he drops down, you gain 33%, and you, uh, and it obscures all the order of the perks. Actually, uh, Kate Denson has some pretty solid perks. I don't, I don't, I think Kate is the perfect beginner, just because you can. Uh, the three seconds isn't a lot of time, because the killer would probably still be able to see you. But the fact you can see all of them, the pallets and windows, is pretty good. A uh, boil over is already a good perk, so I think those three perks uh, are pretty solid. She is definitely good, but I think she's below him just because his perks. Wake up's really good. Pharmacy gives guarantees a heal. Vigil makes it. What was Vigil again? Vigil. Uh, yeah, you recover faster from status effects, which is really good. Uh, Jeff Johan- uh, oh, Jeff- Jeff is not before Adam. I'm gonna put Adam there, and Yochi and Hattie there. There we go. Uh, now it's in order. <laughs> Hopefully. I think. Yeah, okay. So now we have Adam Francis. Uh, he has Diversion, which, uh, if he's in the killer's aura, he will start gaining, uh, and then once it fill the perk fills up, he will be able to throw a pebble, which will make an explosion sound effect. Uh, Deliverance, once he unhooks someone, uh, he can unhook himself very niche. You have to unhook someone before this activates, so if you don't, he, it's useless. And Autodidact, uh, I think that makes it so you're, uh, that you're, you start with a, a penalty, 25% for healing survivors, but uh, every time you do a, a successful skill check, you get one token, a maximum of five tokens, and it gives you a 15% uh, bonus. Uh, and it's not active when a medkit... Eh, okay, so those are pretty bad. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on average, uh, because deliverance could be really good, uh, 
and autodidact is okay. Diversion is pretty niche. I think he's worse than Jake for sure. Uh, Jake has bad perks, but he just has mad perks all throughout, and they're all niche. Okay, Jeff Johansson breakdown. Aftercare. I know what aftercare does. And distortion. I know what distortion does. Uh, uh, this one makes it so when you uh, get off a hook, you uh, it breaks and it takes 180 seconds to respawn. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, aftercare makes it so that when you uh, heal a survivor, you can uh, you can after you unhook them, sorry, uh, and completed a healing action, uh, you can see their uh, aura. For until they get hit or, or hooked. Sorry. Okay. D distortion makes it so that if the killer can, uh, attempts to read your aura, distortion activates and you have uh, three tokens. And your scratch marks will—you uh, won't leave any scratch marks uh, for ten seconds. Every thirty seconds. Uh, uh, that you're in a terror radius, uh, you gain one token. So that includes, I think, gems blowing up. Which is pretty good, actually. Uh, which makes Jeff actually have one decent perk. Uh, actually, actually, those perks are way more solid than I think. Breakdown is really useful. Aftercare's meh, and distortion's okay. I think I'm gonna put him in good tier above Kate. It's definitely. He's definitely looked down on for no reason, and I don't necessarily like that. Uh, Jane Romero has, I know, one perk head-on. I will not even open that one up. Uh, solidarity makes it so that uh, when uh, yeah, when you heal a survivor, you can convert uh, that percentage to yourself for 50% heal, which is actually not that bad. It's meh. Uh, poised makes it so that when it, a generator is complete, you leave no scratch marks for the next up to 10 seconds, which is pretty good actually. And head-on makes it so when you hop into a locker after a couple of seconds, you can boom, uh, stun the killer uh, by hitting them in the face with the door. And it's hilarious, but it's meh. Uh, I would put her in... I'd put her at the bottom of the gray, maybe, or good tier. Poised is pretty good, solitary is meh, and head-on is meh. Actually, I'll put her in average, uh, just because, top of average for sure. Uh, okay, flip-flop, buckle up, and metal of man. I know what all three of these perks are, but I'm gonna take this as a refresher. Uh, Flip flop makes it so that when you uh, recover, once you recover uh, progression from the dying state, it will uh, uh, you can get at up to a maximum of 50% uh, recovery progression uh, once you make it to full. Uh, uh, buckle up makes it so that you can uh, determine the recovery pro progress of dying survivors by the intensity of their auras that you can see from 48 meters away. Uh, it's meh, for sure. This one's meh, this one's good. And this one's awful. <laughs> uh, so, you have to uh, uh, get hit twice, and then you gain the endurance status effect. And if you try to heal or do anything, it goes away. And as long as you have endurance, your aura will be revealed to the killer for, uh, uh, whenever you are farther than 16 meters from them. So yeah, essentially, it's not that great. It's pretty bad. Which is why Ash is going into the bad tier. Flip-flop's really good, though. I think it just puts him right behind Ash. I mean, uh, uh, uh what's his name? Uh, uh, Ace. Yeah, Ace. Ash is okay. Uh, okay, so I don't actually know because they renamed uh, a lot of her perks. Uh, you know, Nancy and Steve, because they got kicked out. So we are going to do these better together. Uh, we're gonna generate, while repairing a generator, its aura is revealed in, in yellow to survivors nearby. Oh, I know this perk. Uh, 
if the killer downs a survivor when you're repairing the generator, you see auras of all other survivors uh, for 10 seconds. That's pretty good. I'm not sure if it got changed completely though. When your goal, when you have your goal in mind, there's no turning back. You ask for forgiveness, you, permission, you walk 20% faster, and you can see your own scratch marks. I do know that one. I do know that one. This one just allows you to see your scratch marks. And I do know what inner strength does, because this one is inner healing. Uh, when you cleanse a totem, you can automatically heal one health state in a locker, uh, once you get up into it for 8 seconds. Uh, and it can also work on the deep wound stat. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, that's not that bad. Nancy actually has relatively good hurt. Better Together is a decent hurt. Uh, this one's a decent hurt. And this one's a decent hurt. I would say relatively decent. Which I would do put her in the uh, good tier. Uh, above Fang for sure. Not above Kate though. The hair, Harrington. No matter what, Steve, I will always find you. Uh, you uh, uh, for you will always be my favorite Stranger Things characters. But let's see how good your perks are. Babysitter. Uh, when you unhook a survivor, the rescued survivor will leave neither scratch marks nor pulse blood for the next eight seconds. That's a guardian. Uh, and you can see the aura of the killer for four seconds. That's pretty good. I like the guardian. This is, uh, life is taught you the importance of friendship, uh, while you're on the hook, the struggle phase. Basically, if another survivor is within 16 meters of your hook, the struggle phase timer is paused for 34 seconds, man, okay, and second wind. Uh, when you heal another survivor for a equivalent of one health state, second wind activates the next time you are unhooked or unhook yourself, you suffer from the broken, uh, next time you are unhooked or unhook yourself, you suffer from the broken status effect until second wind deactivates. You are automatically healed one st health state after 20 seconds. Ooh, second wind is pretty good though. Okay. So he has two goods and a meh. Uh, that puts him in a good tier. Uh, Probably below, uh, below these two though, uh, below, uh, uh, low good tier, that's fine. We have one god tier so far. Okay, lucky break, any means necessary, and break out. I do know what the lucky break does, again, reading just for, so when you get injured, lucky break activates, uh, activates it suppresses your pools of blood and scratch marks for 60 seconds. And every one second you heal a survivor, it recharges by one second. Uh, and also deactivates whenever you're healthy, meaning the timer stops. Or in the diet, diet phase, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty good perk. Honestly, it's probably her best perk. Uh, this allows you to see uh, draw pallets and allows you to pick up pallets, which actually could be relatively useful. It's still a map perk, though, and Breakout makes it so that when you're within 6 meters of a carried survivor, you gain hate status effect. And essentially, the survivor's wiggling speed is increased by 20. A uh, very low amount of meters, but still quite good because you can get in front of the killer and body block, and that will give the ki uh, the survivor a decent amount of time. Which is why I'm putting her in. Uh, 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 I'm gonna say great again. These are kind of my mains here. These three. Uh, actually, I have a fourth main right there. Uh, so, uh, so I might be a little biased here, but this is a biased opinion, so it's fine. Uh, you guys understand that, probably by now. Okay, lucky break, any means necessary, and break out with pretty good perks. Uh, good tier. Okay, where's Serena Kassir? Uh, off the record, red herring, and for the people. Uh, okay, off the record, I remember got buffed to like. Okay, so prevents your aura from being revealed, and after being on for 80 seconds, your aura cannot be uh, revealed to the killer. You're, you uh, you have suppressed grunts of pain, and you gain the endurance status effect for 80 seconds. And it chances one healing, doing gems, or opening gates.
and it activates once the execute it deactivates once the exit gates are powered. That's actually still pretty good, really good, honestly. 80 seconds worth of endurance. Uh, have you noticed that uh, okay, generator after repairing your generator for at least three seconds, it's orange, highlighted, and yellow. The generator stays highlighted, and then you can uh, yeah. So that's meh. Uh, it just blows up the gen once you go into a locker after you do it for 3 seconds and it has a 40 second cooldown. Uh, and when you heal the survivor uh, without uh, a med kit, you can press the active ability button to heal them from one health state. You become the obsession and for the, uh, you have broken status effect for 60 seconds. Uh, which is pretty good. And it won't work if you become the obsession. Uh, if you, it won't work if... No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, 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 that's not that bad. Uh, good, uh, really good, meh. Uh, or bad, really. Uh, I'll put her in, I'll put her in great tier. Uh, maybe good tier. I don't know, I think she's honestly pretty meh. Uh, no, I think... Off the record's really good, and for the people is decent. Red herring's pretty bad though. I think I think she goes below uh, above Nancy. Maybe below. Yeah, below Nancy. Uh, Cheryl Mason. Cheryl. Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, you have Soul Guard, which I know what that does. Uh, Blood Pack. I think I know what that does. Even Plus Rock Rocket Lines. I know what that does. Okay, Soul Guard makes it so that if you, after being healed from the dying state, you get endurance status effect for eight seconds. And any uh, any damage that you take will uh, cause deep wounds. Uh, and uh, uh, and if there is a hex totem, you are able to uh, recover from the dying state. And it has a 30 second cooldown, which is soul guard when a hex is active is really good. But other than that, it's bad. Uh, blood packed. So when you uh, when you or the obsession is injured, uh, you see each other's auras, and when healing the obsession or being healed by the obsession, you both gain haste, uh, moving it, uh, but you have to stay within 60 meters, and Repressed Alliance makes it so that once you heal a gen for 45 seconds, you can call upon the Antonite to block it, uh, making it so it does not take any damage and it's revealed to every uh, survivor in a white highlight. So, actually, relatively average perks. I'm gonna put her in good tier. Uh, definitely above Nancy and Kate. Yeah, Jeff, right there. Uh, they're together. Uh, okay, Felix Richer, Visionary, Desperate Measures, and Built to Last. According to Rowan, in his opinion, Built to Last is one of the most uh, broken perks in the game but not as broken as you guys would think. Uh, so you can see generators within 32 meters of yourself, uh, and it, at each time a generator is complete, it disables for 16 seconds. Still pretty good. Uh, you refuse... Okay. It increases your healing speed by 14% for each in injured or hooked, uh, hooked or dying survivor for a maximum of 56%. That's really good. Okay. And Built to Last just makes it so, uh, you essentially can, uh, uh, recharge your item four times, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh including its, uh, uh, what do you call it, add-ons, so yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna put, uh, honestly, this might be our second god tier survivor, definitely below Dwight, though. Built to Last is really good, Visionary is pretty good, and Desperate Measures is also pretty good. Uh, like, Meg has some good, has like, uh, two good perks and an average perk. I'd say Sprint Burst is still average. I don't necessarily like uh, Exhaustion perks. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty good perks. Yeah, so they have the new Jill icon here. I didn't know that. But they have the new Jill icon, uh, which I don't have, which I much prefer the new Jill icon uh, over the previous one, so that's fine. Okay, appraisal, appraisal. Okay, so you start the trial with three tokens, and when a chest is opened, and 
and you can consume one token to rummage through for an item, and you can rummage through chests 80% faster, that's not that bad. Uh, deception, when you sprint near a lock, uh, when you, uh, are sprinting near a locker, you can interact with it to trigger a loud noise notification, and you won't leave scratch marks or pools of blood for the next three seconds, and it has cooldown of 40 seconds, not that bad. Power struggle, uh, so, uh, you can throw pallets on the killer's head if they walk by a pallet, uh, and you only have to reach 15% wiggle to start doing it, so not that bad. Definitely not as good as Felix and Dwight. Uh, I'd say still pretty good though, great. If anything, still below Yui and Tap though. Uh, Young Jin Lee, uh, fast track. Uh, I actually, this was the last fighter I had to adapt, so I actually remember her perks relatively well, but I'm still gonna make sure I remember them properly. Uh, so, for, so you can, uh, every time the survivor is hooked, you gain uh, three tokens at tier three for a maximum of 27 tokens. Uh, after you do a great skill check, it grants you 1% bonus. So you can essentially get a 27% bonus. Uh, it's not that great, uh, because it requires your survivor friends to die. Uh, after stunning a killer for a pal uh, for, with a pallet, you sprint at 150. Uh, uh, percent of the movement speed for 4 seconds, and it has it gives you exhaustion for 40. Still not the, uh, that one's meh, it's pretty good. Exhaustion for uh, uh, a basic, and when a survivor uh, is hit with a basic or special attack within 60 meters, uh, you leave no scratch marks or grunts of pain, and injured and bleeding are suppressed for the next 10 seconds, so uh, actually, okay, uh, pretty good. Uh, fast track's pretty bad, I'm gonna put her in good tier. Uh, no, average tier. I'm gonna put her right above Adam. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have too much bad survivors. We have a lot of good ones. Okay. Uh, Counter Force, which is pretty good. Resurgence, which is pretty good. And Blast Mind, which is pretty good. Okay. So Counter Force makes it so that uh, you can uh, 26% faster, and uh, every time you come to you get a 20% uh, bonus speed for the next one, and you can see the or the farthest totem from you the first one. It's a really good totem, uh, and it's pretty good. Uh, Resurgence makes it so that whenever you get unhooked, you will gain up to 50% healing progress every time you're unhooked, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, that means you uh, people only have to use half of the charges on a medkit, or can heal you within half the time. Uh, pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, this one is that when you uh, repair a generator for 66%, a blast mine activates, and when after repairing a generator for three, se uh, uh, after repairing a generator for at least three seconds, you can install a tra trap for f f up to 45 seconds. And the aura of the trap generator is revealed in yellow survivor. When the killer damages the trap generator, the trap explodes, stunning them and blinding anyone nearby. It's pretty good. Uh, Resurgence is really good, Counter Force is really good, and Blast Mine is meh. Uh, putting her in the great tier for sure. Uh, I think above tap for sure though. It's she has way more solid perks than him. His perks can be used pretty well, though. Uh, bite the bullet. I know what that does. Flashbang. I know what that does. Rookie spirit. I do not remember what that does. Bite the bullet makes it so that uh, when you're healing yourself or another survivor, uh, uh, you have uh, 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 failed heals. The healing check uh, skill checks do not trigger a lab not notification and only apply a regression penalty of up to one percent. It's pretty, pretty okay. And grunts of pain noise uh, are suppressed all grunts of pain noises, which is pretty good. Uh, flashbang, once you recover a generator for 50% uh, and you enter a locker while empty-handed, you can uh, press the ability uh, button to craft a flashbang, and it's essentially uh, just a, you know, a firecracker. Uh, a firecracker that you can get 
twice per generator, five gems, so uh, ten times. Uh, which is pretty good. Uh, you can, while repairing generators, when you complete three good or great skill checks, uh, this activates for the remainder of the trail. Once the or uh, active auras of any regressing generators are revealed to you. That's pretty mad. That's pretty okay. Uh, mad. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to put him in average. He's relatively average. He's a lot worse than Jill, I would say. Which is kind of sad. Uh. Okay, Clairvoyance, I know what that does. Boom Circle of Healing, I know what that does. Boom Shadow Step, I know what that does. Uh. Okay, Clairvoyance makes it so that uh, when you, whenever you cleanse a totem, uh, when empty handed, you can see the auras of exit gates, which uh, uh, exit gates, generators, hooks, chests, and hatch within 64 meters for 10 seconds. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. Boon Circle of Healing, uh, you can place a boon uh, on, a, uh, on a dull or hex totem, you can place a boon totem, and within 24 meters of that t totem, uh, survivors can heal themselves at 50% speed. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. Uh, Shadow Step makes it so that uh, it's essentially the same thing. Uh, you can place a boon totem on a double or hex totem for 24 meters. Uh, scratch marks are suppressed and auras are hidden from killer. And the effects linger for 4 seconds after leaving the totem. Uh, that won't work on boon circle of healing. But other than that, relatively great perks. Clairvoyance, really good. Uh, boon circle of healing, what is meta? I think I'm going to put her in god tier along with these guys. She is was my main for a while boons have their downsides of course they can be broken but you can plant them just as easily of course with the nuclear dredge uh he can break those so it's kind of been fixed but of course it's still pretty good clairvoyance is a great perk allows you to see things like very easily uh circle of healing allows you to heal yourself and shadow step is arguably one of the best perks in the game yeah uh okay Jonah Vasquez has overcome corrective action and boom exponential. I know what boom exponential does and none of the other perks. So, uh, whenever you become in, in, injured, you retain movement speed for an additional 2 seconds, but you become exhausted for 40 seconds. And it will act, uh, yeah, so that's pretty okay. Uh, corrective action makes it so that uh, you start the trial with 3 tokens each time you succeed at a great skill check for a maximum of 5 tokens. Uh, each time you, uh, a survivor cooperating with you on the same generator fails skill check, proactive action consumes one token, transforming their failed skill check into good skill check instead. Uh, which is pretty decent. Uh, meh. It's, if survivors are competent, it, will, it won't really work. Another boon totem, uh, 24 meters, uh, but when they are in this boon totem, they have a 100% bonus recovery speed, and they can pick them up, themselves up from the back state. Really good perk. Really good. Uh, which puts Jonah Vasquez in our great tier. Uh, I think below Nia for sure. Uh, he has, of course, Overcome is uh, okay. Corrective Action is pretty niche, but Boon Exponential is a really good perk, uh, in my opinion. Uh, okay, uh, Parental Guidance, Empathetic uh, Connection, and Boon Dark Theory. Uh, we've had a couple of boons, so let's get into this. Uh, parental guidance makes it so that after stunning the killer, you 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 uh, you suppress your scratch marks and pools of blood, uh, and grunts of pain for the next seven seconds. And that's pretty good. Uh, empathetic connection. Uh, when a survivor is injured, you see their aura for 96 meters uh, of your location, and you heal survivors 10% faster. It's essentially just empathy, but less range, but increased healing speed is. Uh, not even sure if it's worse. Is it worse? Let's go back up, all the way back up to Claudette's Empathy. Oh, so it's just... Oh, but it doesn't have the dying state. Okay. Uh, this one's just a better version of Empathy, really. The Dying State, you don't really need to see the killer, uh, uh, the survivor being picked up in the Dying State. Uh, okay. And this one just makes a Boon Totem 24 meters and 2% haste for, f uh, 
which is really bad. This is a really bad perk. This is a really good perk, actually. And this is a pretty good perk. Uh, actually, Yoichi actually has some pretty solid perks. I'm gonna put him in uh, higher, uh, high average tier. Uh, above Leon, actually. Boon Dark Theory is pretty bad, and his other two perks are pretty good. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot better survivors. And, yeah, the uh, last uh, one is Hattie, uh, who has Inner Focus, Residual Manifest, and Overzealous. I'm not going to be ranking Ada, uh, Ada, or Ada, or Ada, or Rebecca until they actually come out. Uh, uh, Inner Focus allows you to, uh, you can see scratch marks of other survivors, and whenever survivor loses a health state, uh, you can see the killer's aura for five seconds. That's pretty okay. Uh, residual manifest, uh, blindness increases for 30 seconds, and uh, allows you to find a flashlight uh, when you rummage through a chest. Okay, Everzealous makes it so that whenever you cleanse a totem, you can gain a 8% per, uh, uh, Repair, repair speed, and if it was Hex, a 16% speed. It de uh, deactivates when you lose a health state. So, pretty mad perks all around. I'm gonna put her in the average tier. Uh, uh, above Jake. That's all I can give. Uh, yeah, so this is every single survivor in the game uh, ranked uh, via how easy it is to adapt them. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.